everybody and welcome to uh, another sketch by the short cook shorts are on nice and casual this morning bit of a breakfasty type um, sort of brunchy sort of thing and don't forget just under six foot okay so today's dish is uh, eggs benedict ish so it's my version on the classic dish of eggs benedict a uh, couple of shout outs uh, first one Chris Topper who asked me to do this because he always buys hollandaise in a, a jar. I said, no, we're going to stop that. We're going to teach you how to do this. And secondly, um, Mrs. Shell, <coughs> whose uh, birthday is today, I believe. So shall we sing happy birthday to Mrs. Shell? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, old cricket bat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Right, good. Okay, let's have a look at some ingredients. Here we go. So, what we've got here is we've got uh, four egg yolks. We've got a little bit of white wine vinegar. We've got some parsley to finish off with. We've got the egg whites that we're going to do something with, probably some meringues with that, maybe tomorrow, who knows. And we've got three eggs separated here. What, what's that, Dizzy? You want, you want an egg? No? Look, what is it? Can we help? No? Oh, good. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, we've got three eggs here because we're doing three eggs uh, this morning. One for me, one for Clive, and one for Auntie Sandra. And also in the uh, toaster here, we've got some... Uh, sort of buns. I think you're supposed to use muffins, but that's why it's Benedict dish. Um, butter for toast, uh, salt and pepper, and some oil here rather than butter for us to make the hollandaise with. On the stove here, what we have is a bain marie. So we've got a bowl over some simmering water. We're going to make the hollandaise in that. And this one here is our pan for the for the poached eggs, which we need to turn down which is very sensitive and may indeed go out. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so shall we get it started? Right, what we'll do is we'll put the white wine vinegar in first. There we go, get that thing out of the way. And then we'll get the eggs in here and we'll give them a whisk round, just like that. What we don't want to do is we don't want to make scrambled egg. Um, so we don't actually want these cooking as such, we just really want them warming through. So we're just going to whisk them until they start sort of coming together. So I think they're whisked nice and smooth. What we'll do is we'll just take that off a minute. Because if they do cook, the sketch is over. Right, toasting. There we go. And also let's put an egg on to poach. So we need a fork. Swirly with a fork. We have got some water in here and we've got a little bit of white wine vinegar in here as well. Nice swirly, egg in the center, like so. Just look at that Clive, the eggs all stuck together. Oh, it's starting to unravel now. Well done, just famous last words. And then what we're gonna actually do is, we're just gonna take that off the heat slightly so it's sort of half on, half off. The residual heat of the water should cook the egg anyway. We'll leave that away. Right, back on, whisking, and what we're going to do is we're just going to tip some of this ripseed oil in very, very slowly and whisk it in. What we don't want is it splitting. I noticed there's a little bit of a split there, so we don't want that. I'll tell you what I forgot as well, Clive, because it's my uh, Hollandaise-ish. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of Dijon mustard in here as well. Yeah. All right, can you see it's starting to change colour? If you've seen Hollandaise before, you'll know that it's that's sort of it's sort of a yellowy colour, a little bit like the colour of the Dijon mustard actually. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for a nice sort of thickish, glossy sauce. We're not quite there yet. Keeping an eye on the poached egg, we don't want to overdo that either. What we're looking for in the poached egg is, of course, a nice runny centre, runny yolk. That's not looking too bad, that Clive. Let's have a look. 
It's maybe a little bit thin, eh? Keep on whisking this oil in. Obviously, this isn't uh, extremely good for you if you're uh, on a diet or a low fat diet at least. That is thickening so well now. That is coming really nice. It's not quite there yet. A bit more oil. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take that off again, Clive, because it's getting there. It's not quite there. Just gonna have a look at that egg. Let's have a look. Slotted spoon. Just gonna flip the egg over. I think the eggs, look at that. The egg is just about there, so I'm gonna take it off the heat. Spoon on spoon stand. Uh, ah. Dijon. Hello, Dijon, where are you? Uh, little spot of Dijon in there. There we are. And uh, we're nearly there now. Nearly there, how's that toast doing, Clive? It's done, yeah? Oh, I'm smashing. Bit of over caramelization there again. Cracking, oh, look at that, look at that in there. Look at, what we're looking at is ribbons, All right? So what we've got there is ribbons. I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm not gonna put any more oil in. All right, what I do need to do though is I need to season it. So we'll just take it off the heat. So, we'll turn that off. And we will have a little dish. Because obviously, we'll put a little bit of salt in. Do I want to put black pepper in? No, I don't think I do. It's going to spoil that colour, isn't it? More salt. I think that's got a little bit too thick, Clive, as well. I'm just gonna put a little touch of water in there. Just like that. Nice guy. So if it does go a little bit thick or it splits, you can just put a little splash of water into it and that will bring it back. I still think it's a little bit thick. A little splash of water. Another test. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so, poached egg. We need to take the poached egg out and put it on some kitchen paper. Put the egg water back on so we can do Clive and myself because of course Auntie Sandra gets first dibs on this. Pat that down, be careful not to break the yolk. Plate. Toast. Toast out. Butter toast. Bun, whatever. Toast in the middle. Egg on toast. There we are. That's worked out quite well. Drizzle of hollandaise. Lovely. Splash of parsley. And I suppose that we've got to do the ultimate test as well and see if this egg is right. So, you ready? This could go so wrong, Clive. All right, here we go. Wow. I've got to be honest with you, it doesn't get much better than that. We're quite happy with that. Good money shot, Clive. All right, so that's a shout out from the short cook. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Enjoy.